I think that is a very important question, which is, uh, do I think we're going to make important changes in the way we manage patients with small cell lung cancer in terms of advances in the next few years? Um, I think my answer to that would be factual and hopeful at the same time, uh, which is that it is possible, and the hopeful part of it is that I hope we get there very, very soon. Uh, because when we look at patients with small cell lung cancer subtype, in comparison to patients with the non-small cell, we haven't made significant advancement in terms of management of this patient in the last 20, 30 years. So for the sake of the patient, I think we need to make these advances and make them soon. Uh, the factual part of my answer would be that uh, given the amount of effort that is devoted to non-small cell lung cancer, which is now beginning to rub off on the research work being performed also in patients with small cell lung cancer, I think we may be able to uh, come up with newer ways of treating this patient, not necessarily dramatically different, but at least some incremental improvement in the way we treat the patient. A specific example would be incorporating newer agents that could make the outcome that we see with standard chemotherapy to be better, such as combining chemotherapy with agents that target the patient's immune system, uh, which we've now seen in other tumor types, including lung cancer, there are several studies of this type where they combine specific agents like ipilimumab or nivolumab, either with chemotherapy or together as two drugs, uh, two agents in one for patients with small cell lung cancer. I think these approaches hold great promise, but we have to wait for the data to prove that they actually will benefit the patient. Another example is a study of which I'm uh, really, really interested in and uh, uh, greatly involved with the conduct, which is an ongoing phase two study, uh, ECOG 2511, uh, which is looking at incorporating a targeted agent that's believed to work in several ways, one of which is to make the cancer cells more sensitive uh, to standard chemotherapy by inhibiting the repair capability of the cancer cells, so so-called PARP inhibitors. Um, unlike some of the other studies in the past where we just did study because we had agents to treat patients with, this is actually something that we're beginning to realize may be very, very important, specifically in small cell subtype of lung cancer. Uh, studies done at MD Anderson by Lauren Byers and others show that the PARP enzyme is actually very, very highly expressed in these tumor types. Uh, similarly, studies done at Emory by our own group show that when we combine an inhibitor of the PARP enzyme with standard chemotherapy, at least in animal models, uh, it looked better than just treating with chemotherapy alone. So this type of understanding and our discoveries are now moving into the clinic as an example of the study I've just mentioned with the ECOG study that may give us newer options and hopefully better options of treating these patients.